Hello everyone, just a quick video message uh, before the video actually starts. I just want to say that this video was supposed to be uploaded on Monday, but the thing is I was actually too busy on Monday, uh, so I actually had to edit this on Monday evening, and I'm trying my best to actually get this video out there as fast as I possibly can. And also I'm making plans to build my brand new Hornby table uh, in my bedroom, so I'm going to have a proper Hornby layout soon so i'll just let you guys know that i'm actually be be being i can't speak why can't i not make a video message properly i have been busy planning my hornby layout so soon there will be some hornby videos uh for the channel if you guys are excited for that just let me know in the comment section below um but anyway let's get into this video hope you guys enjoy it and make sure you subscribe hello my friends my name is laser jet welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to be keeping my promise i'm going to be doing a narrow gauge railway race now, because I've never hosted a narrow gauge race before, I need to build the map. Well, I've got to build the racetrack at first. So that's why I am here. Couldn't find my mouse for a second. I am here in the world editor of Train Simulator. Now, the first things first is, I'm going to take off my glasses because you can't actually really see my face. Because the glasses are sort of reflecting off my computer screen. So it makes it very difficult for you to actually concentrate on my face and on the game at the same time. So I'm going to take them off. So first things first is we want some track. Uh, and we want to have narrow gauge. Uh, two, I think it's 2.3 track. I think this is what we're looking for. Yes, it is. But we are going to have, oh, should we say uh, seven bits of track? I mean, why not? I wonder what this is actually going to look like. So if I just place them down... Oh wow, that actually looks really cool. Now because this race is hosted by narrow gauge engines, uh, the track doesn't actually need to be particularly big. So we'll probably just have just a little bit of a straight and then a corner because everyone loves a corner. So we'll have a corner here, like so. You can't really see the track because it kind of camouflages into the uh, texture of the ground that I've chosen. And then we'll have it going straight like this. It kind of looks like a Hornby layout, doesn't it? And a corner again. Again, straight, 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 straight. That's not really straight, but never mind. Straight, straight, sh and then maybe one more straight, and then a corner. It is a very sharp corner, I have to admit. Now, instead of this being the end of the line, I thought it would be more fun if this was the end of the line. So, we're going to go to houses, signals, then platform. And we'll, go to, and then we'll have platform one, then platform two. And platform three, and you get the idea, and, and onwards. And seven. Good. Now, we need to choose the engines. Now, I don't actually have much narrow gauge engines, but I'll have a little look and see what I can find. Now, the only narrow gauge engine I actually have so far is this, but... I, th I think I do have a few more. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look. Right, my friends. I just found some more narrow gauge engines. I found this little guy, which is like a weird diesel thing that kind of works like a car because it's got a clutch but you know, i thought this this would be fun so we'll have this guy in you know just for fun and i actually want to see how bad this will do because i've got this little guy as well this little um diesel thing actually this is not even a diesel this is actually a battery powered locomotive so i can't actually call it a diesel either hmm but, not only that, I've got these guys, which is, they're not very much detail, but, you know, I thought they would be fun anyway to see how well they would do. And who else we got? we got this one. Oh, I, like I like the look of this one. Ooh, I think that's a keeper. We'll keep that. And we've got this weird-looking fella. It's kind of like a push-me-pull-me engine, so we'll have that guy in. Oh, well, I think I found the tender for this dude, so we'll have give this guy his tender. There we go. And finally, we have this thing. Okay, I've got to be honest, I know nothing about narrow gauge locomotives. I don't know the names or what class they are or anything. So that's why I'm, I'm not very good at introducing these engines. But there's they're, not a bad looking bunch, is it? So let's place all them at the starting line because we've got, we've got to do this properly, Oliver. Yes, we do. We'll make it fair. Oh, no, wait, hold on. The starting line is on there. That's the starting line. Okay, well, so we've got to move all them over here. Uh, okay, so all the engines are at the starting line. Now, what I want you guys to do, before I continue watching this video, I want you to pause this video and choose which engine do you think is going to win. Obviously, I don't know what classes they are, so we'll put engine number one, engine number two, engine number three, engine number four, five, six, and seven. Choose a number of which number engine you want, and... We'll just see who wins. I have no. I I actually have. This is. I don't know who's gonna win. 
anyway, let's program all these engines. So we're going to put the little driver fella on top and then get to the programming. I'll tell you what though, setting up a race video is actually quite a lot of work than you guys imagine. So anyway, let's have a look on the racetrack. Oh, well, that's actually a really cool looking racetrack, if you ask me. Anyway, uh, so engine number one is going to be on platform seven. Okay, so engine number one, platform seven, and we'll have you, we'll, we'll keep you at 75% power. Engine number two on platform six. Engine number three on platform five. Engine number four. On platform, what's that? I think it's four, isn't it? Yes, it is. And to make it fair, we're going to keep all of them at 75% power. The reason why is because that 75% power for a narrow gauge locomotive is plenty fast enough, and two, I can't be bothered to program them because it'll just take too much of my time. And anyway, uh, right, programming is done. Let's see who's going to win. As I said, I have no idea who's going to win, and because this railway is so small, well, this racetrack is actually quite small, we don't actually need a Superclass 47. You can just follow these guys, because, well, it's just one big circle, really. Anyway, let's click play, and let the race begin. Click save, and they're off. Oh, look at that. The battery-powered uh, little thingy is off. Followed by the little diesel locomotive. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at all the engines falling behind. The little blue one's doing well. So is the little red one. But all these engines are sort of stuck at the same sort of speed. I think the diesel might be in the lead just a little bit. But for the steam-powered, I think the little red one has got the inner track, so it might be a bit faster than the little blue one. I tell you what, these two shot off like a bullet at the start. But you've got these guys who are not going particularly fast. But as I said, these are narrow gauge engines. They're not actually built for speed. But they are quite cute to look at, aren't they? Oh, I think the steam engines might be catching up just a little bit. Because I think the little red engine has got the inner corner. So I think maybe a steam engine might win. Or maybe the two diesels might win. Sorry, one diesel and one battery powered thing. I don't even know what to call it. A battery loco. Coming to the third corner. Look at this. this. This is actually quite weird to look at. I mean, I've hosted a lot of weird races in my time. But I wouldn't say this is weird. This is more interesting. Definitely interesting. Coming up to the final corner. I think the diesel's going to win it. Second place is... Oh, it's close between the battery-powered locomotive and the steam engine-powered. But remember, my friends, the engine to stop first is the winner. But the final stretch, my friends, there's the finish line. It is actually, for a narrow gauge race, this is actually quite close. Because it's not too fast and it's not too slow. I think it's, I think it's just right. Okay, so the first engine to stop is classed as the winner. So who is going to stop first? I, it looks like it's going to be the diesel. Here it comes. Who's going to stop first? First place, the diesel. Second place is the battery powered thingy. Second place, sorry. Third place is the little red train. Well, red looks little red locomotive. Fourth place is the little blue engine. I can't really speak today. So, first place, second place, third place, fourth place. Who's going to come fifth? I think this guy's going to be the fifth one because he's actually got quite a bit of lead, but it's quite close between these two. Okay, so let's conclude this guy is fifth place. There we go. Who's going to be sixth and who's going to be seventh? Let's have a little look. Who's going to stop first? So I think it was the green one who stopped just before the red one. So I think this one's sixth place and this one is stone dead last. But I'll tell you what, the one I'm really surprised about is this. The battery powered little railway uh, loco thingy. The fact that this little guy came second, I'm actually shocked. I I'm, I'm, in I'm really impressed. But in first place is the diesel, which is a... Very weird looking diesel, isn't it? I think this diesel's more for shunting, really. But in third place was the little red engine. And in fourth place was this little blue engine, which I actually quite like. And I think that concludes our race for today, my friends. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video uh, you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time for another Train Simulator race. See you next time, guys. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>
Oh my god! Beautiful! that for an experience. I might be an expert at these things. Sort of. <laughs>